Cam Bar is going to have a very special place in my heart for a long time because this is my debut night. Uh, Woo! Any Woo! Yeah. Um, and I've lived in North America for about 18 years, and my accent still is at best confused. So please bear with me. Um, I'm going to read a few poems. Into the mic if you can. Oh, yeah. Uh, this one is a sort of an, it's called an invite. I've borrowed some sun for the days, taken a moon on rent for the nights, added on some stars just in case, never too dark and never too bright. I've invited some of your friends, dropped a note to some of mine, Call some strangers too in the end to drink with us your favorite wine. When they're all gone to their own, and this expanse is left with just us, and the sun, the moon, stars, wine, alone, I pull the sky as a blanket for us. There are stories from each of our lives, some to share, some to never recall. As we tiptoe around these highs, if we need a silence to embrace all. There are dreams that we both may have, some common, some our very own. I've hired angels to hear to what we have and leave no dream behind or alone. I've gardens with blooms of many hues, didn't know what you prefer for flowers. When we meet next, I'll look for some cues. Over time, we'll get to know each other. I've all these planned and so much more, with ample room for all our whims too. My life now is at the edge of this door, eager to catch the first sight of you. Thank you. This one's called A Poet's Dilemma, or Dilemma. Through my prattling on matters of the heart, my conceited want to speak of the sight, my wistful eyes lost in a ceaseless quest, my inner trials to immort through words, you have figured that I'm a poet. <laughs> Blithe and chaste, you ask me nonchalantly, can I write a sonnet or a gazelle for you? Verses that extol your grace and allure, none that can even begin to elucidate the ample light the maker has filled in you. Indeed I can, only if my heart suffers, said I wearily, torn between truth and lie. You smiled obscurely, walked away into the light, and I waited, waited, and waited anxiously until I figured that you've now left me. I then wildly ran across this white paper with a pen and throes of such loneliness, birthed the song, let the winds carry it to you, then turned to blank walls, sought an answer. Should I feel exultant for penning a song or repentance for losing you? This one's called Phoenix, and I wrote this poem on the New Year's Eve just this past year, or, you know, two weeks ago. It's called Phoenix. You kicked open the door that was just half open. You kicked open the door that was just half open, unannounced, undevised. Let a shadow of your light into the space called heart, where I often hide myself when in doubt or when lost. You sauntered across the floor, measured each held emotion, examined each strewn scar, crushed walls, built windows, demolished those bunkers I had to fight wars within, broke cages, cuffs, fetters, mounted a rainbow sky, sprang a freshwater sea, awakened muffled dreams, roused the soul to revolt, and unannounced, undevised, walked out of that lone door, unaware of the tumult he had caused. 
I gathered myself again and dragged my numb feet to that door now all open to vanish in the blackness of your hair or your eyes or to get pieces of me wrapped in your footprints. Yet, a thought held me back. Is this world you left behind more tranquil than the real? Woo! This is the last one from me for tonight. It's called, I Wasn't Alone. I wasn't alone last night when I met you after yawns. I wasn't alone last night when I met you after yawns. In my head, a few fireflies. Rehearsed thoughts now clamoring for any face-saving rhythm. In my heart, some butterflies. Flawless beats now out of tempo in search, of, in search of wanted perfection. And a scrupulous judge inside, chiding me incessantly for my clumsiness and foibles. I wasn't alone last night when I met you after yawns. And each one of them showed up every time you looked at me. Thank you. Woo!